We're back. That was a great two weeks break. Uh, went to England to see my old man. Then we went to Erland off the southern coast of Sweden and sat on the beach for a week. Pretty good. Um, so yeah, here we are back in southern Sweden trying to finish off this big recording studio in a huge old Swedish cow barn. This week is going to be about windows, uh, specifically windows between the control room and the booth, like recording studio windows. We put this one in before we went away and yesterday I put in this one uh, and we made lots of mistakes and so hopefully now with this third one it's going to go smoothly and I can talk you through how I did it. So yeah, that's today's video. Please subscribe if you haven't already and uh, let's get on with it. Okay, so this is what we have to work with today. That's the cavity between the two rooms. So the idea is, first thing we're going to do is stretch some fabric across this gap, which uh, it won't transmit sound through the fabric because it's floppy, uh, but it means that we won't see this big ugly hole here with all this mess. these staples I've staggered them like this I'm not going for full tension just yet but it, it means that later on I can tension across here and then I can tension across here it means that this these staples here aren't stopping that side being tensioned does that make any sense okay next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the top and bottom wooden rail for each side this stuff we cut on the table saw it has a slightly angled profile can you see that and that angle basically matches the angle of the glass so it'll be a nice tight fit so yeah i will measure that and then i'll cut these this is a really good tool for measuring this filter force towel meter it has a little thing at the back which is exactly 10 centimeters from the front here and it means that for doing this kind of thing get a really accurate measurement in that gap. You're supposed to say not sponsored. Not sponsored. Six, three, four. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut these diagonal bits. And because of this angle here, because these are kind of at a weird angle. I need to transfer that angle also onto the ends of these pieces of wood. You'll see. Okay, so I'm just gonna double check that this is all nice and straight for the glass. Looking pretty good. And I'll just, just pull this a little bit. I don't wanna really yank it, but just to kind of tension it slightly. Okay, those are all in. Next step is to open my knife. Okay, so the next step is to trim off this fabric. Managed to put the staples in the wrong places, in a few places, but don't mind. Okay, so here we have some black water-based stain. 
and I'm just going to paint that onto these, carefully trying to avoid getting it on the wood. It doesn't matter if I get it on the uh, fabric too much because it's black anyway and it doesn't show up. I don't need to do this front layer because this front face because there's going to be a rubber strip on there. Okay, so let's let that dry, go and have some lunch and then put the window in. All right, so I have this very lovely stick-on rubber strip <clears throat> and I'm going to stick that all around here so we've got a nice soft rubber seal for the glass so there'll be no rattling uh, and I'll also put in a piece at the bottom as well for the glass to sit on so that it's all cushioned. Yeah, just trying to avoid any kind of rattling. You don't want to pull this stuff too tight otherwise it'll go weird so just just tight enough but don't stretch it too much. Alright, I've cut the uh, extra little bars. They go here and there. So now I will get the glass and I'll put in one side of the glass. We will clean the glass and one last hoover in here and then put the other bit of glass in. Okay, so these two pieces of glass, one for each side, you may notice that one is slightly thicker than the other. Uh, I calculated the mass of the wall that was going to be cut out for these windows. So these pieces of glass combined equal the same weight as the amount of wall, plasterboard and wood and everything that we took out. But also <clears throat> it's good to make one, it's good to make them different thicknesses so that any kind of resonant frequency that goes through this one won't also go through this one. They'll have different resonant frequencies. Uh, it's just another little pro tip there. Pretty bloody heavy. should confess on this window here I messed up the measurements and so this bar sticks out a little bit but it will have a frame going around anyway so you won't notice this so this one I thought I would do the same so they, they look the same uh, so this one is also sticking out Okay, that's in for now. I'll put in the, the extra side bits later. Uh, but now we need to clean this like perfectly because obviously any grime or dirt on the inside of the glass uh, will be trapped forever in there. So I'll clean both sides, hoover it out, take the other piece of glass, clean the inside side of that, put it on, check that it's clean and then we can screw the other side in as well. In case you didn't know, the best stuff for cleaning glass with is newsprint, old newspaper, or like this is newspaper style stuff, it's just great. Okay, so before we put the bottle on in, we can just clean this and check that there's no crap stuck inside. What's that? It's on this side. So 
now I'll just do these bits and uh, that'll be that. Okay, there you go. All done. Looking good. So that is all the windows. All the windows done except for those two at the bottom over there which uh, I actually need to get some more black fabric for because I forgot about those. I don't think we need so much. We've got a little bit here. It's not so nice though, but yeah, maybe that will work. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that will work. Because those ones at the top are done. So yeah, it's just, they need to be painted and then the fabric put across. Yeah, this is like half a day's work. Okay, maybe we'll get around to that um, this week, but maybe not. Yeah, cool. All right, so that's all the control room windows done. It's really looking very, very sharp in here. Still need to do this window, waiting for that to arrive, the second window there. We've got our first spaghetti squash. The quiet one. All right, we have started with this, which is the conduit which is going to lead electricity from the corner over here, where it comes into the room, all the way around the room and into some musical instruments and tape machines and computers, etc. But more importantly is that we have a new recruit. Michael is here. He's flown all the way from Philadelphia in America to come and give us a hand, which is totally amazing. And we're gonna have a week together uh, doing, uh, I think maybe a lot of this stuff. I think we can get this done in a couple of days, building these boxes. Maybe a bit of floor laying. Uh, that's the other big thing that happened today is that the vinyl floor tiles or lino floor tiles arrived. You'll have to wait and see what I've got in store for that, but uh, it's gonna be pretty good. Um, we'll see how far we get with this before the weekend. But yeah, it's been a good week. Okay, there you go. That's ready for next week to run some cables through. And uh, yeah, Michael has done an amazing job. So, um, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully by the end of next week, we might have all the power wiring done. Uh, we've got a few tricks up our sleeve, which should be quite interesting. Uh, we'll see how we do. Please subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to support us and uh, what we're doing here, then you can become a member. You can click the little join button below and, uh, and then you'll get access to some extra Friday night uh, bonus footage if you're into that kind of thing. Otherwise, I'll see you next week. Uh, lots of love, look after each other and goodbye.